What's up guys, Saint7 here and Hero Expeditions. I haven't done one in a while. I have boosted the hell out of my might. 32,000, I believe, was where I started. Now, what I'm looking to do on this one is, first thing I look for always, where's the town hall? Because I have two heroes who can kill cross map. Well, one is Reaper, throw him out to the left. Thunder God has to be away from that town hall because he will proc on those hero bases, which means procking on the heroes. You can see it right there. Instead of procking on the town hall, that is important. Where you place your Thunder God and where you place your Reaper. Now, that's assuming they're not using troops and they do have things spread out. From there, I can just bring everyone else in, let them all converge to the middle. Druid come in as my tank. You can see right there. <laughs> Even the Revite Druid having a little of an issue tanking. You know, half his life is gone. That's one thing, at this might, people kill my druid with powers, and it's quite surprising. I have bumped my might up a little too fast, maybe, but that's okay. Um, well, the only reason I say too fast is there's just no mana anywhere. All right, from here, druid on the bottom, I'm wanting him to pick up those towers, so I'm waiting, 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 waiting. Eh, go ahead and get Reaper in there, and no, no, it's... Thunder God is going to grab this one. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to back out because Thunder God is going to pick up that tower. No one is over there to heal him. And, aha, uh, I've used all the heroes. Yeah, 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 get out. They're running to the middle. Don't want to run to the middle. A base like this, you need to spread things out more. And give your guys time. You can see right there, I'm going to bring in Reaper. I'm not going to bring in Pumpkin Duke. Pumpkin Duke can really speed it up until... I've spread it out over there. I can guarantee that I'm going to get enough procs off and I get lucky. Now, yep, see, Pumpkin Duke a little too early. I was thinking maybe that I could get running around the circle now. We'll see. Try to pull all towers with Druid. Okay, he's got all three towers. And from there, I'm just going with the power opening. And let's see, can we get them all running around? That's what I want. I want all, all the way around, halfway. Druid do the same thing. Okay, Druid's got all the towers over there. Now, oh, beautiful. Reaper is on the one tower on the north, or west, east, east side. Don't know my damn directions. And from there, 67, we will get out and move on. Don't be afraid to leave it 50%. All right, we get a free one. Uh, this is definitely a cakewalk. Split those two. You can see where the town hall is. That just means I just got to put Thunder God anywhere on the other side. You see, oh, I'm splitting the towers still because I don't want... One tower hitting two guys, unless it's my druid who is constantly healing with life drain. Once that's gone with the heroes, I can bring everybody else in on the bottom, clean it up. We're going to grab 100%, which 47 merits and 500 honor badges. I'll take that all day. Anytime in Hero Expeditions that I'm able to consistently get to R7, R10 on a daily basis, in my opinion, the might is fine. Now, the problem is, out of the Bluden, blue. <laughs> I'd like. I was gonna say golden range of might of 17 to 19,000, which that is where the mana is, guys. If you want to just inscribe your ass off, 17 to 19,000, right under 20,000. That's where you're gonna get pretty much. You're gonna find one to 300,000 mana raids that you can do in 15 to 20 seconds. And oh shit, here we go. Oh no, Reaper back to life. No, how we're. Oh, yep, Rage Skip. Druid might, now see, now I'm pretty much screwed. This is probably going to be a short video because I've lost Druid. Oh, my God. I didn't know what I was talking about before because my Druid is now gone. All right. And Pumpkin Duke's taking, okay, yeah, no, he got away from it. No! Woo, so, all right, relax. Chill, chill. Let's see, how do we raid this one? No troops. I want Thunder Gun on the opposite side of that town hall to make sure he hits the heroes and not the town hall. I want to give him a boost. I have no healer. Okay. I See, I have no Reaper to hit. I 
cannot believe I lost those two heroes. What I'm going to do, spread attack all the way around. Hopefully, there are enough buildings on the outside that I can... Yes! Yes! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! <laughs> do not be afraid to jump out at 50%. Now, what I'm getting back to with the might... Yeah. Might range, like I said, 17 to 20. Now, once you get up over uh, 25 or 26,000, wherever that might title is, there is no mana. It hasn't gotten any better, a little over 30,000. I've been told somewhere over 40s, but I'm expecting it's going to... It's going to take probably an Archduke title to where I start really seeing easy mana raids again, where it's consistently being able to fill my vaults in five minutes. Because that's what it was, guys. It's 17 to 20,000 might. It was five minutes. I had two plus million in mana. Now I'm spending 20 minutes, up to 30 minutes to fill my vaults because I'm hitting next, next, next. And the ones I'm finding for 100,000, they're not these hit and goes for 15 seconds. I mean, they're full minute and a half raids, you know, having to sacrifice a troop now and then. If I have a big mana raid for 400,000, I will drop a troop, not troops, I don't use troops, but hero. Okay, did skip all the way down to this one. This is one where, well, I've got four corners to work with. The problem, you know, not having a healer, that's bad. Now, at least there aren't towers, because towers are generally the biggest issue when you don't have a healer and trying to move around. Now, I don't like their heroes in the middle. I hate seeing Vlad Dracula. He's a pain in the ass. Not as bad as Orc Spain, I suppose. But we're going to split everything up. 51%. Yes. Love it. Get... Okay. All right. And better to get out instead of going for 61% and taking that relic call out. Um, <laughs> There are a lot of troops. Towers. Yeah, two, yeah, yeah, I don't like that one, but I only have, uh, if I split the towers, let's see, I might be able to get through it, but I really don't like it, there's a lot of troops, however, the one thing I like is, you see where those vaults are placed, that mana vault, that gold vault, that's three in, instead of Four. If it's space four in, that's the proper length. You see my druid pounding away on the vault. That's going to give me the ability to fail. And we're going to skip. <laughs> well, you get the sell. We see it right here with the vaults. You can see they're three in. That three thick on that wall section. That means ranged heroes can hit them from the outside. Melee heroes will pick them up and they will start swinging through walls. That is what I want. I want to. I want my pumpkin duke swinging into a three thick section of walls. That's 115,000 HP. He can swing and just start stacking his ass off. All right. Well, he runs to the side on this one instead. But we're just going to go ahead and split everybody up. You can see I want to get all the buildings on the outside and not working too well there. I don't have a healer. That's a problem. If I had a druid here, this might be a hell of a lot easier. Um, let's see. Thunder God Snowy's out there. Get those two. Now, Shaman. Rockin' up. Uh, no, get out, get out, get out, get out. I'm going to have... I got an angel. Let's bring in my... Yeah, skip. Oh, I'm giving a gift. Now, on this one, obviously, you got to put the Thunder God on the right side. If you put him on the left side, it's going to do nothing for you. From there, well, I'm looking at it, and there's nothing to do but take down this left side. I'm just going to go ahead and might as well throw on Pumpkin Duke to buff the hell out of the procs for Thunder God. From there, well, just kind of try to time it so they finish at the same time. I've got 50%. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. I Now it's only a level 80. No big deal. I was never planning on trying to take that one completely. So this one, oh my god, it's a gift. There are no heroes, no troops, but they had to throw the garrisons out, and I have no healers. You... All right, all right. I think I can do it, though. Oh, Thunder God. All right. Towers evenly split. We're just going to bring everybody on this side. There are no heroes. I don't have to worry about getting things around. Now, Thunder God's in a little... I cannot lose my Thunder God, period. Angel, heal, honey. Heal. That's a little too far away. Ah, oh, we're good. It's golden. Look at that. Gonna grab 100%. 64 merits and... I do need every honor badge I can get. 
I'm generally working with six heroes that are uncapped, five that are on the bases, and there's generally one in the tower that I'm leveling up. Because I'm taking all my tower heroes to level 117. Well, 120, but you need 117 and a skill of four of nine to get that tower to a level of three. And from there, you just skill them up. You don't have to level them up, but that's a lot of honor badges. Most of them are at 60 or 80. And from 60 to 120, you're looking at what? 60,000 per hero when it comes to honor badges. So yeah, that's killing me. And mother F it, son of, I've been editing and working on these videos um since the sap last yesterday afternoon and server is already reset so no boss for me damn two days in a row i've missed and i really need it all right this one we're spreading out on i've lost i'm loose and okay not gonna get to r10 it's gonna end here absolutely and including my entire storage space Not yet. I think it's right when Angel's about to die. Actually, I did a really good job of getting it, getting out, getting back in, and getting the recording started again. But there it is. Picked up some merits. Very happy with it. So if I'm able to do that, I'm fine where I'm at in my 32,061. Just need to get a little more mana. All right, guys. Sans of an oak.